Hello. I have finally fixed the mouse problem. Uh, it's uh, if a window game window is overlapping any other window, and you move the mouse to the edge, or like you can't see the cursor, but you still move it fast enough to go get to the edge and click, and then you lose focus from the window itself, and well. You've seen what happens. So, here is uh, my creative game. As you can see, I've built a number of ships, and I'll show them all in order. First ever to get almost as small as possible with everything, as in uh, gyros and some cargo. Uh, landing capability and all, all the directional thrusters. It's this, not even a beacon. Then I made this. Yes, although I slightly altered it after I made it. It's uh, like a surveyor cargo ship. It's got a medium cargo container inside there. And some power generation and ample thrusters, also a beacon too, and an order director as, as I did say, it's a surveyor. Then I proceeded to design a fighter, which is this. I based this on, uh, I, whatchamacallit, I, don't, I can't remember the name, but found on the for forums somewhat similar design as in the Cylon Raider shape. I pretty much copied how, or started with copying how he did these tips, and then I found my own way, of course, later on. But yeah, these have uh, two rocket launchers and four Gatling guns, and the Gatling gun ammo is contained in the wing, and conveyor system is used them on them. I actually don't know if it's functional on the Gatling gun ammo. What the hell? Uh, <coughs> it doesn't have really that much power. To, it's surprisingly slow, although it turns like on a dime. I think it has eight gyros or at least four. I don't, I don't remember anymore. It's been a while. Also it's quite sleek, only really easy to hit directions are from top and bottom and it has a lot of armor on top and bottom of course so I mean all the vital parts except for the cockpit are pretty much two layer armor or at least one and then some slap slow piece to boot or something but yeah, it was really fun making that I enjoyed myself quite a lot and then this is a prototype I've been dabbling with to get it a little bit faster and more power out of it. Uh, it doesn't re hasn't really changed much and it looks ugly -er because of the uh, distinct color for the changes I've made. But yeah. Then I proceeded to design... oh yeah this is the uh, Battlestar Galactica Raptor, sort of, again copied from what I saw on YouTube, but then I didn't go the same direction anymore. Uh, it has walkable interiors, I mean, at least it's going to have. And then this baby here. First ever drill ship I made. It's quite big. But it's still under 50 tons, which is surprising. I mean, empty, of course. But yeah, it has a huge cargo container, and it's fast. <laughs> I can tell you, it's faster than my fighter to accelerate when it's not hauling anything. Uh, here is where you can go inside, and inside view is really cramped. Like really, really cramped. The uh, cargo gets, uh, I mean the drills 
spew everything to the cargo bay and I've already taken it for test run as you can see I drilled a little as in I <coughs> let's say 1.5 times the ship's length right into this asteroid I don't remember which side it was of the asteroid it was but it was quite nice it actually digs deep fast straight and we can easily get out of out of the hole again because the nose is of the widest part but I didn't like it it was way too big so I started building a smaller one this is the result pretty much the same overall uh, it has two med medium cargos then I realized that it was as heavy as the big one which I'm not a fan of like, it's not a problem in these ships but I do want to optimize a little now and then so I decided to start making like a compact ones like wherever I can find also that I think that has eight gyros as well so it turns like crazy so these have less everything this is only two gyros same as that really because this is a copy of that so just cut out cut out one cargo container but yeah this is what I've been doing and I'll be finishing up these minor ships before I continue anything the multiplayer is really up to so many variables and I hope I get to play so soon like maybe tomorrow but no guarantees oh hello symmetry bug yeah these also have conveyors so the drills pour everything into the containers and uh, access ports are on both sides uh, the reactors on the side are not temporary because they I, I bumped into them and they started escaping so I had to stop that can't allow that I already have lost so many pieces and bits into the space and I'm wondering how many wasted memory bits are going in there but yeah let's continue then now I need a generator array don't need a medium generator it's way too big for my purposes now let's build it on the small one So what did I do here? I guess that's fine. I can fit the generator inside as well. So start with the generators. I wonder if six is enough. think it's not but then again I can always add more that is always a good idea hmm. 
that is not protected enough, so I'm gonna change it. Also, I don't know if I should leave that open. Oops. I mean, these holes look a little weird. But they save weight. So, um, I could also fit, right, I don't need any more vertical thrusters, I think. This might have been just enough already. It does look a little unprotected there. All right, and then uh, just a second of the sneeze. So, um, let's see, I will need at least six thrusters. So if I put eight, because it looks good, like this. And then just protect those a little better, like so. Maybe even go a little stylized. Hmm, actually it looks better without stuff in the center, I guess.
or should I still add some thrusters? Might be better off, but don't know yet. Well, at least <coughs> we can try, see what happens. Now, usually the symmetry breaks, but now it worked. Also, I don't have room there for verticals. Oh, what? What just happened with the symmetry? Okay, let's not use the symmetry right now. Seemed a little weird. Be symmetrical if I placed a thrust there. Oh, I didn't delete with symmetry, so yeah, there we go. And there we also break with the symmetry again, as usual. Fine. Oops. works. That does look a little weird there. The uh, holes, or the cargoes. But hey, it's, it's working. Now let's test it. Yeah. 
power usage. Uh, doesn't have enough. Okay, let's. We'll have to put some more juice generators in it. But there's room. Oh, turns well with two gyros. And only 32 tons, so that's quite nice. So the extra room was here. No, it wasn't. There's thruster now. Um, I guess we can use that space. Just remove all of the engines from the back to see it better. If I add uh, three generators here, uh, that should be enough power. However, can we get enough thrust? What do you know? That looks quite nice. Accelerator 12 for a utility vehicle. Turns very well. And stays within 100% power at all, all situations. So let's go try it. I'm surprised it turned out so well. It's really maneuverable too. Oh yeah, I did have everything that I needed here. So let's see, where was I? Drilling... I have totally forgotten where I was drilling. to go look more carefully. Oh, that looks like it. Yep. This was the first ship's drill hole. Also, I do think I see some detached pieces. Oh, oops. Detached piece of armor here. I wonder where it came off because I didn't notice it losing any parts. But yeah. It's a small hole. Alright, just the thing just worked so nicely. Okay, 
let's try making a new one here. So light that is actually a little bit more difficult to really hit this. Ah, it works so nicely though. Much easier to handle if you have a center. somewhere okay then you'll have to just ease out while drilling as well anything that you got stuck on will be destroyed pretty much how it works. You can actually go in from the front as well. It's so just close enough. All the important bits should be protected by the armor, so drilling shouldn't be dangerous, but no disclaimers. I mean, well, no promises. Again. Right, there we go. Let's make it a little bit more roomy by reversing while drilling. in now the only thing that is lacking really is some things we Grab all the loose bits. Now let's do a damage inspection.
those things look like they have got some dents on them but no real damage thrusters are all fine oh hello you've got a big dent in you all the drills have secondary uh, two uh, connections to the next drill so they'll feed through the side ones I mean these and side ones to a uh, cargo container so as long as one connection is okay they all should well two connections are needed of course they have to be next to each other let's see what we got well we got some stuff Yeah, well, I'm relatively satisfied. I like the thing looking like it's actually been seeing some action, as in work. But that protruding part was quite ugly. But yeah. It works. I'm happy. Let's go park it and continue on the bigger one. Let's see. I'm running out of room. So that needed nine reactors. Uh, this should be fine with the same amount. I wish there was a copy and paste part system. It is possible that I will need bigger engines here, but we shall first try with the same amount. This not, shouldn't be too much heavier.
I do think this thing will need more light. Also, these break heavily with the symmetry usually. Yup. Right, let's let's take it for a spin as well. Still quite maneuverable, not much heavier to be honest. So it's Pretty much the same thing here. No need for drilling. So, that is my line of fancy drilling machines. Now, I'll probably not do anything more with this. I mean, that's 36 tons compared to this guy who is 45 that's with an empty inventory as well so it's good it's all good it's got more power yeah but still but yeah I'll show you how fast this thing is right, you would expect this normally like it's got only four lateral all the, like, maneuvering thrusters but then you get the fo forward thrust and it goes like sting like oh my god it's a mining machine why does it go faster than the fighters also the turning ray is just crazy Well, I, I'll show, I will make a version of this line of drilling machines that has that large one large cargo container because it makes sense. Parking is also quite annoying because of the acceleration it has. Right, there we go. I have introduced you my faithful machinery now. I shall see you guys later again.